Okay. The first part, this is called Roots Rap, and the first part is uh, called Tel Aviv. Let me tell you a long story about a Jewish boy from Brooklyn. He got interested in Israel, so he thought he'd take a look in. He took a flight from Kennedy on a line they called El Al. They looked through his luggage like he was sent from hell. He landed at Ben Gurion. They said a lot, Shalom. Welcome to our Tel Aviv. You can call it hum, home. <laughs> Everywhere he looked, there were Jews and Jews, but they had guns in their hair. They had bullets in their shoes. He took a walk to Jaffa where the Arabs had been. They had photos of dead Arabs in a war museum. It was an interesting old town. Found a charming hill cafe. In the old flea market, he bought an IDF beret. On Allenby Street, got a flea bag hotel. Saw his first Jewish hookers. <laughs> Zion normalized to hell. You know, that's another thing. I, I always get into, I always travel into cheap hotels, you know? And it turns out all over the world, those are the hooker hotels. <laughs> so his first Jewish hooker, Zion normalized to hell. They had a lot of bookstores, an intellectual's cafe. He only wanted coffee. There was some minimum to pay. The boys and girls were pretty, not ghetto kids, bolder, but each of them carried an Uzi on their shoulder. I saw some musicians, they played Bukharan bazookis, but they were begging in the streets, like New York. That was spooky. I went into a supermarket, sold bagels, sold cream cheese. They looked in my knapsack for a bomb, I guess, oh jeez. I bought a towel on the street. The peddler grabbed me by the collar. He begged me to black market him my U.S. dollar. I walked down to the pure sea, magnificence afloat. All atop the soaring swells, a cute Israeli gunboat. I walked to edge of town, magniloquent museums. They all told how and where the fine, finest Jews had been. I heard hot jazz while walking one soft magic night from a jazz bar off Yehuda Street. Yeah, that's right. Saw a controversial film on Dizengoff Square. That's like Times Square. Some call it pro-Arab, but I thought it only fair. I met a lot of Yankees. They were doing the town. Halfway U.S. Navy come to scare the Arabs down. Tel Aviv was Jewish, Jewish as they come, so I thought the time had come to go see Jerusalem. Tel Aviv had Jewish cops, Jewish soldiers, Jewish bums. Tel Aviv had Jewish robbers, Jewish bankers, Jewish scum. So I knew the time had come for me to see Jerusalem. Okay, part two. Oh, don't clap yet. Jerusalem, part two. Jerusalem the golden, Jerusalem what light. But as you enter that great city, you could see what was a fight. On the dusty greenish roadside just before it banks, they left the Six Day War monument, a burned out tank. I got my cheapest room in the YMCA. There are Christians in Jerusalem. Hoosiers made them that way. Midwest Americans came there. In the 1920s, Elma Gantry's towering monument sure looked funny. Across the street famed King David's Hotel, where anti, that's A-N-T-E, terrorist Shamir blew a hundred Brits to hell. Remember that? But there is no city like unto Yerushalayim. And down the streets, antique shops, parts of it, you buy them. Colorful, surprising, the streets breed leaf-like calm. Too bad you can't take twilight walks without feeling some alarm. This man in a kafaya, that's an uh, Arab head uh, hat, walking down the street, is he or is he not someone I could meet? That woman in the market spreading melons on the ground, is that the kind of person we Jews want around? Those kids selling flutes to tourists, Herod's Gate, are they clean? The, the flutes aren't. They're so cute, what will be their fate? Come into the old city, you're in for a treat. There's history and mystery on every ancient street. Here's the church of the sepulcher. Watch the Christians fight over who killed whom on what St. Bartholomew's night. 
Here's an Arab merchant sells a T-shirt to you. It reads, visit Israel before Israel visits you. <laughs> Walk past the legal, illegal money changer. Come to Muslim mosque, beautiful but stranger. Muhammad rose to heaven from these charming blue jewel spots. Fundamentalists of all creeds really get me hot. Buy a 10 buck ticket to all the holy places. Sometimes you gotta buy a way to God's goodly graces. Proceed along the Turkish heights, the old temple wall. The IDF checks you out, your pride before you fall. Now you've reached the holiest of all the holy holies and the rabbi takes the legal tips to guide you, holy moly. Wail, Jew boy, wail. This is the wailing wall. And your women friends sequestered in their own sexist stall. And do not walk in Maya share ring with, with your shorty skirties. The ancient Jews might get erect and stone you fucking flirty. <laughs> now walk along the Jaffa Road. Here is all humanity, good and fresh and vibrant in all its gay variety. Oh, what bliss to be alive in this wondrous, joyful city. Oh, if there were only peace here. Oh, my God, the pity. And the third short, short part here, Masada. Uh, that's where, uh, OK, well, you'll, you'll, hear, you'll hear what happened. Escape into the countryside, the desert, magnificent. The Dead Sea, Engedi, oasis, O oh, eternal scent. By Ahmed bus to Masada, the driver has a gun. Here is the old fortress, here is the old sun. By old rough trail or Swiss cable car to the beautish top. How could anyone storm this? They did it, drop by drop. Ingenious fortress, high above the fierce and fearsome plain. They built bakeries, baths, and palaces on incredible terrain. The Hashmonean princes, unimaginable rulers. They killed each other, good as Romans, beasts, liars, cruel foolers. The Roman maniacs persisted, and years later, they won. The Jews suicided off the cliff, one by kids to one. In this abominable story, they're all presented as great heroes. If that were true, if this were that, then hail Attila, hail Nero. This is a rap I made about my first last trip to Israel. It may not be the nicest song, I'm sorry, but it is real. 